The zero product rule allows us to solve quadratic equations. So here's a brief rundown of how the zero product rule works. If you have a product, remember product in math means multiplying, and that equals zero, the only way that this can be a true statement is either a equals zero or b equals zero. That is the only way mathematically to multiply and get zero as a result. So for example, if I have 5x equals zero, the only way these two numbers can multiply to be zero is that one of them has to be zero. Well, the 5 isn't, so that means the x must be zero. If I had 5 times x minus 2 equaling zero, here's the times, so my two factors are 5 and x minus 2. The only way these two can multiply and get zero out is one of them has to be zero. The 5 isn't, so that means the x minus 2 has to be zero. If x minus 2 is zero, the x value that makes that true is x equals 2. What if I had x minus 3 times x minus 2 equals zero? In this case, either the x minus 3 equals zero or the x minus 2 could equal zero. If the x minus 3 equals zero, that leads us to x equals 3, at three to both sides. If the x minus 2 is the factor that got us to zero, x equals 2 is the value that makes that true. So just to show you, let's go ahead and multiply that one together. So x squared minus 2x minus 3x is minus 5x, then plus 6 equals zero. If I evaluate this at either of these x values, I should get everybody on the left canceling and get that equal to zero. So let's plug in the three. So three squared minus five times three plus six, is that equal to zero? This is my check. Notice that I've used the same x value, the same number in all of my x positions. You can't do three and one and a two and other. It's not gonna work that way. So now I get 9 minus 15 plus 6. Is that equal to 0? Well, sure it is. 9 plus 6 is 15 minus 15 equals 0. So just to review, going back here, you're solving linear equations from Chapter 2. If 5 times x equals 0 to get the x by itself to get rid of the 5, you would either divide both sides by 5 or multiply by one-fifth, same thing. But you have to do the same thing to both sides. Those fives cancel. I get x equals zero over five. And with fractions, if you have a zero in the numerator, that fraction is equal to zero. Zeros in the denominator are the undefined ones.